He represents Maryland's third district. Uh, he chairs the Democracy Reform Task Force, uh, and he is the original assembler of HR1, the seminal democracy reform bill, uh, the For the People Act. Thanks very much, Lisa. Good afternoon, everybody. It's great to be here. I got bumped a little bit in the program because I need to get into that building to say the name Hakeem Jeffries when my name. I've said it 12 times in the last three days, and I'm going to keep saying it as long as it as it takes. Uh, but uh, shortly, you'll be hearing from the King family, and um, I want to certainly thank them because they are at every single rally, every single part of this movement and coalition. They've been at the center at it, a, a leading voice, um, and we, we deeply, deeply appreciate appreciate that. This is a sober day, as, as Lisa said. We look back on what happened two years ago, the violation of this citadel of democracy, the U.S. Capitol, uh, behind us with this insurrection, the rioters. And I do want to just take a moment and... Uh, pay tribute to the officers and others who protected me that day and my colleagues and protected that building, five of whom lost their lives on that day. We remember them and we salute their families and we thank them for their sacrifice. So we remember January 6th. We understand the legacy of that day and what it means going forward. We can't forget that. We have to continue to prosecute those who are responsible for it. Accountability has to be at the center of our efforts and we look to the U.S. Justice Department to make good on that promise to the people and we're going to continue to push that, that forward. Uh, sadly, I was just saying a moment ago, there's a jarring symmetry because today and over the last couple of days there's been another disrespecting of the institution by a group of extreme lawmakers who right now are holding us hostage and our ability to act and function and legislate on behalf of the American people and it has to be said and observed that many of the most of the people who are holding things up in there right now those extremists are people who are also apologists for the insurrectionists two years ago so draw your own conclusions from that but it suggests that our democracy continues to be under assault and that's why we have to continue as well to push back so as we look to the future this coalition that you all made happen that you keep lifting up is going to be consequential in making sure that democracy reform fortifying our democracy is stays at front and center, that it is a priority. In the midterms, the people of this country, by rejecting election deniers in every state across the country, made it clear that democracy was on the ballot, and they want us to continue at the state level, the local level, but certainly here in Washington, to press for those reforms that can fortify and strengthen our democracy. William Cullen Bryant, who was a great abolitionist, theologian, philosopher, once said, and this was quoted often by Dr. King, that truth crushed to the earth will rise again. Well, truth, they tried to crush truth two years ago on January 6th. There's a group in there now trying to trust, crush truth again. But we know that truth will rise and that we will achieve our goal of fortifying our democracy and it will happen because of your efforts. Thank you for being here today. I appreciate it.